Okay, guys, so we've arrived at a place. Uh, we've already introduced two variable equations, and today we're going to do uh, an introduction to slope. Even though you guys already saw slope in the past, specifically last year, you were doing some, uh, some, some things with slope, and they showed you a couple things. But today I want to clarify the concept of slope, because some of you have a different idea of it, okay? So I have a different way of introducing it, so hopefully this will make it stick. Okay, so can uh, can I get the lights? Somebody over there in the lights, please. All right, here we go. So pay attention, please. Everybody look up. Hands down, eyes up here. So I'm pretty sure some of you have gone online. And uh, when ha has anybody gone to Google Maps before? Okay, so let's say we go to Google Maps and we search for Imperial. Yeah. Okay, so here's Imperial. And in Imperial, uh, this is a sky view of Imperial, and over here at the bottom left is the high school. Everybody see it? Right here, here's the high school. And up here at the top right, we have Frank Wright. Does everybody see Frank Wright over here? All right. I meet, I meet uh, every now and then with my uh, colleagues from the high school, the other math teachers, and we talk about math. And I was at a meeting the other day, and... Um, a parent went into the office, they went to register their son, and they were going to register uh, uh, their daughter over here at Frank Wright. But they needed directions. And when they stepped out, all of a sudden they realized that they were going to ask directions for Frank Wright. But since I overheard, I said, I can give you directions. So I said, so we're here. I showed them this. Everybody look up, please. I showed them this, and I said, so you're going to drive, take your car, drive through these houses, all the way through like this, <laughs> and that's how you get to Frank Wright. Yeah, yeah, right, right. That's how we give directions. Is that correct? No, no, we don't give directions like that. So therefore, I gave her the right directions. I said, all right, you're going to get, there's seven streets up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many? Seven. seven. So that's seven. I'm going to label that. And then from here, it's one, two, three, four four down. So that's four down. Okay? That is what we call slope. Not the line, this. The change in y and then change in x. This is what we call rise and this is what we call run. Rise over run. Rise over run. So therefore, does everybody see the fraction bar that this makes? You guys see it? You guys don't see the fraction bar right here? Okay, let me show you the fraction. 7 over 4. This is what we call slope. Everybody see that? That's the rise over run. That's probably the easiest way I can introduce this. Now, in the past, they showed you rise over run just using lines. None of you thought, oh, the line is the slope. No, the line is not the slope. The points in between the line make the slope. Everybody got it? All right, copy this objective down, please. Our objective for today, I can define and find, thank you, the slope of a line. Let's read together. One, two, three. I can define and find the slope of a line. Man, I could be a rapper. I can define and find. No, never mind. All right, I can define and find the slope of a line. So two things we're doing, defining and finding. Slope. A variable that we use for slope, guys, write it underneath. In parentheses, the variable m. You're saying, what? Why not s for slope? Because s is used for something else. But m, what's an easier way to remember m? Who's heard of uh, when people go out, or you hear in the news, some people were out on vacation in the snow, and they were going down the slopes. Who's heard of that? Slopes. That's what they call when you're going down you know, the, the slopes of the mountain. Anyways, of the, yeah, but slopes can only be found in the mountain, so therefore, what letter for mountain? And so that's how you can remember slope. Bam. Pretty good, right? All right. So with that said, we, what is slope? Copy this down, please. What is slope in your Freyer model? Slope is, slope is the change in y value, which is the rise per unit of change in x value, which is a run. 
slope is the change in y value, which is a rise, per unit of change in x value, which is a run. Comma. It's always the same. What is it? Always the same. and never changes. And I'll show you that when we get to one of those examples. It's yeah, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Slope is the change in y value, which is a rise, per unit of chain in dx value, which is a run. Always the same. Also known as rise over run, or the slope of the line. So an easy way to remember this, if you write this fraction right next to it, rise, you see how this one's stretching, rising, over run. Look at the run. It's running. Oh, let me give you some special effects. Hold on. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. It's running. Yeah, there it is. All right. Thank you. Thank you. No, no problem. It's running to the right. Do you guys see it? It's running to the right? No, it's never running to the left. Always to the right. That's why it starts with the letter R, because it runs to the right. Copy that, please. Also, let me give you some examples. Examples. Copy this. We have four different ones, so if you have your colored pens, this is the time to use them. This is a positive slope. This is a negative slope. This is undefined. This is zero. I'll explain that right now. Non-examples. We have these two. This one and this one. Copy those also. Okay, I'll wait while you finish. Here, here we go. So now, everybody pay attention. Pens down. Stop what you're doing, please. Put those down. Here he goes. Now, eventually, guys, when you guys graduate from Frank Wright, graduate from uh, the high school, and then from there you go off to university, uh, and, you, and some of you are going to leave the valley. And check this out. There's such things when you leave the valley and you go to these places, there's these things called escalators. And watch. This is what happens. You step on one step. And the escalator takes you up without you even walking up. Yeah. So, so check this out. I know some of you have seen it on YouTube, but it's real. It's not science fiction. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad. Here it goes. So, so escalators are usually in a diagonal form. Everybody look up. Usually like this. Or like this. Are we there so far? So now, this is probably the easiest way of me explaining positive and negative slope. Check this out. So here you are. And some of you said, we have those here, Mr. Gu. All right, fine. Okay, let's say you go to the swap meet and there's an escalator. All right, here you go. So here, here are you, and here are you at, at the swap meet, and you're going to get on the escalator. All right? So now, check this out. From now on, whenever we read graphs, we're always going to read them from left to right. That means you're going to look at them, you're going to start at the left, the farthest left point, and go all the way to the right. So at this point, check this out. So this is you. Therefore, this line, I don't, which is the first point we encountered? Is it this one over here or this one over here? This one right here. So therefore, check this out. This one, you get on the escalator and look that. It's going up. That's why it's a positive slope. Okay, let's find out. So this one, which is the point that we encounter first? This one or this one? This one. And look, it's going down on the escalator. That's why it's a negative slope. Now, check this out. An easy way to remember undefined is like this. You get to this one, you're like, wait a minute. Which is the... No, check this out. This one, you're like... Which is the initial point, if I'm looking at it from left to right, which will be the first point, this one or this one? We don't know from left to right. That's why it's undefined. Undefined. Therefore, from there you're like, okay, I'm not going on that one. So you come over here, and this is not an escalator. Escalators are either going up or down. This one, that's why it's zero. Yeah, but those are not, those are not, those are not escalators. They're called something else. Anyways, here we go. So, uh, any questions? Any questions with positive and negative slopes? 
positive slope, negative slope, undefined, and zero. Are we there? Okay. I want you to draw this little person right here on this line so you remember. Okay. Now, think about it. As you're going up the escalator, is there a change in pattern? No, it keeps going up consistently or constantly. And the, 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 the pattern is always the same, whether you go up or you go down. However, look at these over here. Does the pattern change here? Yes. This one goes up and then sideways and then up again. Look at this one. Does the pattern change on this one? Yes. First it goes down and then it goes up. So what do we notice about slope? Slope has to be a constant change. So it's always going in the same direction, whether you start going up or down. However, it's also written as a what? A fraction, which is what? Rise over run. Okay, so critical attributes. Write this down, please. Slope is a fraction, which is rise over run, and it's only found in linear equations. Are these linear equations? Yes. Are these linear equations? No, these are curves. Linear equations, curves. Linear equations, curves. Copy that, please. Okay, so we have what slope is. Now we need some steps. Copy these down. Example, I'm sorry, step one. Oh, wait a minute. We don't have steps. We have escalators. Well, uh, hey, never mind. Step one, it says identify. <laughs> two points on the line or table and write the coordinates. You guys got it? Right? No? Never mind. Step two, compute the vertical change over the horizontal change. Step three, simplify. Okay. Guys, better keep up because this is going to go fast. Here we go. Ex step number one, identify two points on the line or table and write the coordinates. Step two, compute the vertical change over the horizontal change. And that is what we call the slope. And what is the variable we use? M. Okay? And we simplify. Once again, step one, identify two points on the line or a table and write the coordinates. Step two, compute the vertical change over the horizontal change, which is the slope. And step three, simplify. Okay, is everybody done? Yes. Okay, I'll give you guys uh, 40 seconds. Go. All right. So, we already know that slope, slope is the uh, rate of change, which is change of y over change of x. So, pens down, eyes up here. Here we go. Eyes up here, please. So, the first thing we're going to be presenting in this lesson is how to find a slope when they give you a line. Right now. Not now, right now, but in a little bit, I'm going to ask you to copy this line on your graphing paper, on the big one. But before you do, I'm going to show you what to do. Check this out. They're going to give us a line. Here it is. Pay attention, please. Here's the line. And I'm going to follow my steps. What is the first step? Identify two points. Does it say, does it say which points? No. Any points. Any two points. So check this out. I'm going to use uh, this point right here. And I'm going to use this point right here. Because if I continue extending it, will it pass through that point? Yes. Yes. So, step one, identify the two points and write the coordinates. So, I'm going to write the coordinate for this one. What is the coordinate for this one? X is 2 and 2. Okay. And this one over here is 1, 2, 3, negative 4 and negative 1. Okay. Are we there so far? Okay, so step two, compute the vertical change or the horizontal change. So, imagine this is the map of Imperial, and we're going from the high school to Frank Wright. So, therefore, what is the rise, or how many steps, I mean, how many blocks up? Let's see, one, two, three. So, that's three blocks up. From there, how many blocks to the right? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six to the right. So therefore, check this out. This is how we find the slope of that line. We write M, which is slope, equals rise over run. Focus, please. With, 
which is, what is my rise? Three. What is my run? Six. And what is my last step? Simplify. This is one third. Everybody see that? No? Okay, my bad, my bad. I just wanted to make sure you're paying attention. This is one what? Half. Half. Hands if you got that. Okay, copy that, please. Copy this line. Pop those two points. Back to line, please. Yes, on the big graph. Big graph. So, pens down, eyes up here. So, some of you are saying, but what if I chose two different points? Okay, let me show you. Here it goes. I'm going to use green for those next points. I'm going to choose this one over here at the end. Does everybody see it? And I'm going to choose um, this one right here. Okay. My coordinate for this one, let's see, two, three, four. This is four. This is one, two, three. So this coordinate is four, three. This one right here, we got one, two. This is, I'm going to write it here, negative two. And it doesn't go anywhere, so it's zero. Okay? So now, to get from here to here, look what I'm going to do. How many steps up? One, two, three. It's three. And from there, from there to, the, to this point, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. So therefore, this is 3 over 6, which is 1 half. Hmm. But what if I chose two other points? Let's say this one and this one. How many steps up? 1. How many to the right? 2. 1 over 2. It's always going to be 1 half. That's what we call a constant change, constant slope, constant rate of change. It's always the same. It like the escalator. It doesn't matter where you start. As long as you get those two points, it's always the same. Watch. Even if I get this one way over here and this one way over here, check this out. How many steps up? One, two, three, four. Okay, that's four. How many steps to the right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is M equals four over eight, which is one half. Why? Because it's a constant rate of change. Everybody got it? Copy this next one down, please. On a, on a small one. Copy that one. So this one, they give you the points already. See if you can follow the steps and find me the slope. Copy that, please. So here, the first point is right here, and another point is right there. Just fill in the, the blanks with the tallies. And uh, find me the slope, please. So, I stay here anyway. So, here we go. So, let's see if you got the same as I did. First things first, identify two points. There they are. My coordinates are 0, 3. Is that correct? And for this one is negative 2, 0. Okay? From there, to get from this point to this point, how many... For right, how many steps for the right? One, two, three. How many steps to the run? One, two. So my slope is three over two. Step three, simplify. Now, we can simplify and then we're going to get a mixed number. From this point forward, we don't want mixed numbers. We just want fractions. So therefore, can we simplify any more? No, so we're done. That's our slope. We got it? Do another one. Copy this next one on a, on a different one. Here you go. They give you now the coordinates and they give you the points. Copy that, please. So I want you to first plot your points, draw your line through them, and then we'll do this one together. You got 30 seconds. Go. Yeah, they give you 0, negative 3, 4, negative 5. Plot those two points, draw your line. Everybody look up, please. Here we go. So we need to get from this point to this point. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. So let's see. What is my rise? How many steps up? Oh, no steps up. Now we're going down. If we go down, let's see. One, two. From now on, when it's down, it's a negative. Negative two. So once again, from now on, whenever we go steps down, it's a negative. Steps up is a positive. Steps down is a 
Negative steps up is a positive. So that's two. From this point, how many steps to here? One, two, three, four. So my slope is negative two over four, which is negative one half. Hands if you got that by yourself. Okay. Let's do another one. Copy this one down, please. Copy this one. There it is. Here are the coordinates, negative 6, 5, and 3, 2. Coordinates, negative 6, 5, and 3, 2. See if you can do that by yourself. Go. Okay, let's see what we got for this one. From this point to this point, is it going up? And down. And you can look at it. Doesn't it look like it's a negative slope? Yes. Yeah. So, therefore, we go 1, 2, 3, 3, steps down, so it's a negative 3. Are we there so far? How many to the right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 to the right. So my slope is negative 3 over 9, which is negative 1 third. Hands if you got that by yourself. Okay, good. So now, check this out. We are right to this next part. Everybody look up, please. Look at these two. Don't say it out loud. I gave you these as examples on the definition of slope. They're asking, find the slope of each line. Look at this one. We don't even need to do any numbers on this one. So you never what the slope is for this one. Undefined. How about this one? Zero. So therefore, whenever you encounter this, you just write undefined and zero. Everybody got it? All right. So, check this out. I'm going to go to this next portion. Pens down, eyes up here. There you go. So, once again, I'm going to try and explain the concept. And it's going to be, a, I'm going to try and challenge your brain a little bit, so stay focused. Here it goes. I'm going to plot two points here. One here and another one over here. Okay? We know that these two points, if I was to draw a line through them, we have one of them is the first point that we encounter going from left to right, which will be our first point. This one or this one? This one. So I'm going to label this one 1 and this one is 2. Okay, are we there so far? We know that each one of these points has a coordinate. Is that correct? All right. We know that this one has an X value and a Y value, so does this. So, but we have a dilemma. Notice that this does not have any numbers. And I ask you, I say, all right, guys, uh, can you uh, can you give me the coordinates of each of those points? So you're like, all right, Mr. Q, here's the first one. Point one has coordinate X and coordinate Y. All right, and what is point two? Oh, point two is coordinate X and coordinate Y. I'm like, oh, really? What's the dilemma? They're the same. How can I distinguish? Don't say it out loud. How can I distinguish if I'm only writing it with variables? Which one is which? Think about it. The only thing that you can use is whatever you have here. How can we distinguish one from the other? Check this out. This is what we do in math. Point one. Point two. Can you tell now which one is point one? X sub one, Y sub one. What is point two? X sub two, Y sub two. Does that make sense? Yes, that's how we distinguish one from another. So now, so far so good. Are we there so far? Let's say I asked you to find me the slope in between these two points from here to here. And now I gave you numbers. Check this out. I'm going to give you numbers. Let's say this is 1 and this is 2. 
this one is six and this one is uh, eight. Let's say eight. Okay. Uh, whatever. Let's say it's eight. Okay. Are we there so far? Now check this out. In order for you to find the slope, pay attention please or you're going to miss it. In order for you to find the slope from here to here, I need to take steps up, don't I? So if I'm already at 2 to get to 8, how many steps do I need to take up? 6, because it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so that's 6 steps up. Are we there so far? From this point, how many steps do I take to the right if I'm already at 1 and I'm going to 6? So let's see. 1, we're already at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many steps? 5. 5. Five that way. Here it goes again. I'm already at one, right? And I'm going to six. So therefore, how many steps? Five. Are we there? So if I was to write my slope, my slope is six over five. Are we there so far? Any questions with that? All right. So here goes the challenge. I want you to look at this. I'm looking right now at 6. Which direction did I go? I went up. Which axis goes up? The Y. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to write the coordinate for this point. Pay attention, please. What is the coordinate of this point? 1 and 2. Do you guys see that? What is the coordinate of this point? 6 and 8. So check this out. Look at this 6. And this is the direct, what is this direction? Y. So look at the Y. Look at this one. Don't say it out loud. All right. And look at the, what is this direction? The X, the X axis, right? Let's look at the x values. Look at this. Look at this one. And look at this one. And look at this one. Does everybody see what's happening? Okay. So you never what's happening to the two y's. So check this out. Those of you said that in order to get this, I subtract the two y's. Is that correct? So what do I subtract? 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2, it gives me that. So what do I subtract to get x, uh, the 5? 6 minus 1. Everybody see that? All right. So this is where, where we arrive to the formula. Everybody look up, please. Check this out. So... If I was to ask you, m equals, let's see, we know we're going to subtract. The 8, what does the 8 correspond to? Which point is that? Point what? 2. two and it's the y value. So this one is what? y, 2. Okay. What does the 2 correspond to? The first point, is that correct? And it's the y for the first point, so this is y, 1. So how do I get the x? What, is, what does the 6 correspond to? The x of the second point. So this is what? x sub 2. And what is the last one? x sub 1. And that's where we get our formula from. Last year, they gave you the formula. They said, here's the formula. Use it. Today, I'm showing you where we get the formula. That's the formula. Bam. That's the formula to find the slope. So with that said, copy this down on your Cornell notes, please. Example number three. Find the slope of the line that contains 2, 5, and 8, 1. I'll give you the formula right now. Find the slope of the line that contains 2, 5, and 8, 1. Find the slope of the line that contains 2, 5, and 8, 1. Write that down. Okay, 
And as soon as you get these kind of problems and they're asking you to find the slope without graphing, this is how we find it. We write our formula. Our formula for slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Do you remember where we got this from? Yes. Because to get from one point to the other, we need to subtract the y's and subtract the x's. Does that make sense? All right, once again, our formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So you're saying, Mr. Cube, but how do we know which one is which? So everybody look up, please. When you read this, which is the first point that comes up? 2, 5. Guess what? This is going to be x sub 1, y sub 1. Which is my second point? 8, 1. So this is going to be x sub 2, y sub 2. Now do we know what to do? Yes. Check this out. I'm going to rewrite this. We write m equals fraction bar, subtract, subtract, Let's see. What is y sub 2? What is it? 1. So that goes here. What is y sub 1? 5. That goes here. Okay. What is x sub 2? 8. That goes here. And what is x sub 1? 2. That goes here. And now we just subtract. Let's see. What is 1 minus 5? Negative 4. What is 8 minus 2? 6. Can we simplify? Negative 2 thirds. Hands, if everybody got that. Okay, let's do one more. Here we go. Copy this down, please. Copy this one. So, first things first, what is our formula? M equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Let's label our points. Which is my first point? This one, right? So this is x sub 1, y sub 1. So therefore, this is what? x sub 2, y sub 2. So, m equals blank minus and minus and I'm gonna do this one let's see what is y sub 2 what is it negative 2 and what is y sub 1 negative 2 okay what is x sub 2 7 and what is y I mean x sub 1 negative 2. Okay? Now check this out. Let's see. You're like, wait a minute. Mr. Q, there's two negatives here. What is negative times a negative? This becomes a positive. This becomes a positive. So what is negative 2 plus 2? And what is 7 plus 2? 9. So what is my slope? It's just 0. In this case, it's just 0. So our homework. It's found on pages what? 276, 276, 277, numbers 1 through what? 27? 27 odds. Turning your homework on your way off, guys. I'll see you guys. Enjoy your homework. See you guys tomorrow.